Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Hashim Ali Khan. So far, seven problems I have completed on network analysis. In the last video, I have explained you how to draw the network diagram, how to find out the EST and LFT values, earliest start time EST, latest finish time LFT. So how to find out this EST LFT by following forward pass and backward pass. Because without finding EST LFT, we cannot be able to find out the critical path. We cannot be able to find out the project duration. So for critical path project duration, we need EST LFT values. I have already explained in the previous video. In this video also, I am going to explain those things. Apart from that, we are going to find out the <clears throat> total float, free float and independent float. Very frequently these topics are asked. So if you want the perfect knowledge, watch all the videos from beginning till end. Don't skip in between. Don't join in between. So if you have not watched the earlier videos, go to the playlist of my channel. Select the subject operation research. Select the videos of network analysis. Be perfect with the concepts and always make and maintain the notes which I'm explaining here in this lecture. So before starting the ninth problem, sorry, eighth problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. Take the screenshot of the points which I have written on the board, then I'll explain every point. Now, see the eighth problem. A project has the following time schedule. The activities are given 1 to 2, 1 to 3. That means starting from first event, ending at second event. So 1 to 2, 1 to 3, 1 to 4. Three activities are busting out from first event. Then 2 to 5, 3 to 6, 3 to 7, 4 to 6, 5 to 8, 6 to 9, 7 to 8, 8 to 9. And the time is given in months. So for every activity, how many months are required that is given there. Construct PERT network and compute a critical path and its duration. Second, total float for each activity. Remember the formula for float, total float is ESIJ minus LFIJ, sorry, LFIJ minus ESIJ, LSIJ minus ESIJ. This is the formula for float. But before that, first of all, we must know how to construct the diagram. If you are unable to draw the diagram, then you cannot be able to calculate all the values. All the steps will fail. The first step is constructing the diagram. And this perfection you can get only by practice. Already every problem I have explained you. So by having this question, by having these questions, draw your own then definitely you can get a lot of practice, perfection on drawing the network. First of all, 1 to 2, 1 to 3, 1 to 4. Three activities are busting from the first event. So first event is this one. The event is divided. The circle is divided into three parts. The upper part is the event number. Left side is L EST. Right side is LFT. This is EST and this is LFT. Right? Three parts. 1 to 2, 1 to 3. 1 to 4. So 3 activities have completed. Then 2 to 5. So I have taken 2 to 5. Right? Then 3 to 6. 3 to 6, 3 to 7. So 3 activities are busting. 3 to 6 and 3 to 7. Why I have taken down? Because one activity is there 4, by, 4 to 6. Next activity is 4 to 6. That means in 6th event 2 activities are merging. One is 3 to 6. And there is 4 to 6. The merging event. Right? 6 over. Next, 5 to 8. This is 5 to 8. Then, uh, 6 to 9. This is 6 to 9. Then, 7 to 8. This is 7 to 8. Then, last one is 8 to 9. That's all. All the conditions are satisfied. The net network diagram should go from left to right. Now event numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 events are there, right? The duration is given to 1 to 2 activities 2. 
तो वन टू टू एक्टिविटी द ड्यूरेशन इज टू राइट द ड्यूरेशन ऑन द टॉप ऑफ द एक्टिविटी टॉप ऑफ द एरो देन वन टू थ्री इज टू दिस इज वन टू थ्री इज टू देन वन टू फोर इज वन वन टू फोर इज वन लाइक दैट ऑल ड्यूरेशन राइट इट डाउन ऑन द एक्टिविटीज नाउ वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द ई एस टी वैल्यूज फॉरवर्ड पास गोइंग फ्रॉम फर्स्ट इवेंट टू द लास्ट नेक लास्ट इवेंट the first event est value will always be zero we are beginning from zero how many activities are merging here in second only one activity so add up 0 plus 2 is 2 only one activity is merging here so 0 plus 2 is 2 only one activity is merging 0 plus 1 is 1 next fifth how many activities are merging here only one so here 2 plus 4 is equal to 6 How many arrows are merging here? Only one. So two plus five is seven. How many activities are merging here? Two activities: three to six and four to six. So we have to take the maximum. So here two plus eight, ten. One plus three, four. Whichever is higher, ten is higher. So I have taken ten. Right? Here, how many activities are merging? Two activities. Right? So six plus one seven or seven plus four eleven, whichever is higher, eleven is higher. This activity two arrows are merging. So again we take the maximum eleven plus three fourteen or ten plus five fifteen, whichever is higher, fifteen. So we got all EST values. Now backward pass going from the last event to the first event, right? Now we have to subtract the values. If from busting event we have to take the minimum. So here fifteen, the last event EST LFT values should always be same. We got the EST value fifteen. Take the LFT value also fifteen. Now how many arrows are busting here? Only one arrow is busting. So simply deduct fifteen minus five is ten, right? How many arrows are busting here? Only one. So fifteen minus three is twelve. How many arrows busting? Only one. So twelve minus one. Is eleven. Only one arrow is busting. So twelve minus four is eight, right? Now how many arrows are busting here? Only one. So eleven minus four is seven. Here how many arrows are busting? Two arrows are busting. So we have to take the minimum. Two arrows are busting from this one, right? So eight minus five is three, or ten minus eight is two. Whichever is less, two is less. Here only one arrow is busting. Ten minus three is seven. Here only one arrow is busting. Eleven minus four is seven. Here three activities are busting, so we have to take the minimum. Seven minus two five, or two minus two zero, or seven minus one six. Whichever is lower, zero is lower. So always the first event EST LFT value will be zero. If you are not getting LFT value zero, means you have committed some mistake, right? That's all. So we have calculated all EST LFT value. Now we have to find out the critical path. The critical path is the longest path from the first event to the last event, where EST and LFT values are same. Many paths are there from going from first to ninth, but one path is there which is the longest path where est lft values are same here 27 not same not a critical path 611 not a critical path 17 not a critical path 10 10 here it is it may be same so first of all 1 to 2 1 to 3 first event to third event 2 to same again we cannot go 7 8 because 7 8 are different both should be same so we'll come down 10 10 From the sixth event, we'll go to ninth event. Fifteen, fifteen. So now the critical path is shown by double lines. The critical path is one, two, three, three to six, six to nine. This is the critical path. One, two, three, three to six, six to nine. And this activity is one, two, three activity, three to six activity, six to nine activity are called critical activity. there should not be any delay in the performance of these activities otherwise the total duration of the project will get delayed right now duration add up the duration of the critical activities 2 plus 8 plus 5 2 plus 8 10 10 plus 5 15
this is the duration 15 months is the duration so we have constructed the diagram we have calculated the EST LFT value we have calculated the critical path and the duration lastly it is asking you to calculate the total float for total float these are the columns first two columns are the same whatever is given in the problem activity and duration duration is denoted as TIJ this is a symbol for duration for our uh, convenient purpose so 1 to 2, 1 to 3, 1 to 4, 2 to 5, 3 to 6, all the activities are given same, I have copied. Now two broad columns, largest and latest. La uh, earliest, sorry, earliest and the latest. Earliest is again subdivided into two, start, finish. Latest is again subdivided into start, finish. So here E, S, I, J. Earliest start, I, J. Earliest finish, I, J. IJ means from ith event to the jth event. Every activity will have a tail event and a head event. The tail event is I and head event is J. So IJ represents the tail event and head event. So earliest start, earliest finish. Latest start, LSIJ. Latest finish, LFIJ. Then lastly, we have to find out the total flow. The formula for total float LSIJ minus ESIJ. This you have to remember. Now, first of all, ESIJ. ESIJ is equal to earliest start of the beginning event. Already in the previous problem, I have explained you. This you have to remember. ESIJ is equal to EST of the beginning event. Beginning event. Starting event. So here ESIJ, we have to, to uh, take the EST of the beginning event. First numbers are the beginning event. And second number is the ending event. We want the beginning event EST. Beginning event is 1. What is the EST of 1? 0. So here I have taken 0, 0, 0 because beginning event is 1. So the EST of 1 is 0. Second EST of second event. Second event EST is 2. This is the second event, EST2. Third event, the third event, EST is 2. Then third event again, EST2. Fourth event, EST is 1. Fifth event, EST is 6. Sixth event, EST is 10. Seventh event, EST is 7. Last eighth event, EST is 11. That's all. So ESI just stands for EST of the beginning event. And EFIJ, EFIJ is equal to ESIJ plus TIJ. Add the duration. Whatever ESIJ you got, to this you add the duration. 0 plus 2, 2. 0 plus 2, 2. 0 plus 1, 1. 2 plus 4, 6. 2 plus 8, 10. 2 plus 5, 7. That's it. So two values you got. Now latest. First you take LFIJ. LFIJ. LFI just stands for LFT of the ending event. LSIJ is equal to LFT of the ending event. LFT of the ending event. These are the ending events. Second number is the ending event. So what is the LFT of 2? 2 ka LFT 7. So here you take 7. So third event LFT is 2. Then fourth event LFT is 7. Then fifth event LFT is 11. Then sixth event LFT is 10. Then seventh in event LFT is 8. Then next one sixth event LFT is 10. Then eighth event LFT is 12. Right? Then ninth event LFT is 15. Then 8th event LFT 12, 9th event LFT 15. So you got LFIJ. Now LSIJ. LSIJ is equal to LFIJ minus TIJ. Subtract. So LFIJ is 7. What is the TIJ here? 2. So 7 minus 2, 5. 2 minus 2, 0. 7 minus 1, 6. 11 minus 4, 7. 10 minus 8, 2. That's all. 
we got all the values now simply you have to apply in the formula total float is equal to lsij minus esij lsij lsij are here 506 506 then 723 723 minus esij esij are 000 so i have taken 000 then 222 here i have taken 222 like this all es uh, lsij minus esi 5 minus 0 5 0 minus 0 0 6 minus 0 6 7 minus 2 5 2 minus 2 0 that's it finished so we have completed this eighth problem we have calculated the total float <clears throat> now i am coming to the next problem problem number nine the following table gives the activities in a construction project and other relevant information activity 1 to 2 1 to 3 2 to 3 2 to 4 3 to 4 4 to 5 duration are given 20 25 like that draw the network for the project find the critical path find free float total and independent float previous problem we have calculated only total float now in this problem we calculate total float free float and independent float now first of all we draw the diagram the activities are 1 to 2 1 to 3 so two activities are busting from the first event so first event to 1 to 2 and 1 to 3 right then next one is 2 to 3 2 to 4 2 to 3 2 to 4 this is 2 to 3 and this is 2 to 4 then we have 3 to 4 4 to 5 this is 3 to 4 and this 4 to 5 that's all very easy diagram now after draw, drawing the diagram take the duration values the duration 1 to 2 is 20 1 to 2 event 20 then 1 to 3 25 then 2 to 3 2 to 3 10 then 2 to 4 12 then 3 to 4 6 last one 4 to 5 10 we have taken the duration now we'll start est lft values forward pass going from first event to the last event the first event est value 0 now here only one activity is merging so 0 to 20, 0 plus 20 is 20 here also here two arrows are merging so we take the maximum 20 plus 10 30 or 0 plus 25 is 25 whichever is higher 30 is higher 20 plus 10 is 30 now here two arrows are merging again we have to take the maximum here 20 plus 12 32 no no here two arrows are merging so 20 plus 12 32 or 30 plus 6 36 32 or 36 whichever is higher 36 is higher here only one arrow is merging so 36 plus 10 46 over EST values completed. Now backward pass, reverse. The last event EST LFT value will be same 46, 46, always. Now subtract. How many arrows are busting here? Only one arrow. So subtract 46 minus 10, 36. Over. Here, how many arrows are busting from this event? Only one. Only one arrow is busting. So 36 minus 6 is 30. Here, how many arrows are busting? Two arrows. One is going from 2 to 4, another is going from 2 to 3. When two arrows are busting, we'll take the minimum. Take the minimum. 36 minus 12 is 24 or 30 minus 10. 30 minus 10 is 20. So 24 or 20, whichever is less. 20 is less. Now here two arrows are busting. So we take the minimum. 20 minus 20 is 0 or 30 minus 25 is 5. Whichever is less. 0 is less over now this is the first problem where we find all est lft values are same all the values 0 0 20 20 30 30 36 36 46 46 actually critical path is the longest path going from first event to last event where est lft values are same but here all the est lft values are same we need the maximum highest the first path 1 to 2 2 to 4 4 to 5 this is not critical because 20 plus 12 plus 10 so 30 20 30 40 42 you are getting are we having 42 here no so this is not the critical path 
not downward. 1, 2, 3, 3, 2, 4, 4, 2, 5. We'll see. 25 plus 6, uh, 31. 31 plus 10, 41. Is it 41 here? No. This is also not critical path. Then critical path is 1, 2, 2, 2, 2, 3, 3, 2, 4, 4, 2, 5. Now we'll check. 20 plus 10, 30. 30 plus 6, 36. 36 plus 10, 46. Yes. So our critical path is shown by double lines. 1, 2, 2, 2, 2, 3, 3, 2, 4, 4, 2, 5. So critical path we got 1, 2, 2, 2, 2, 3, 3, 2, 4, 4, 2, 5. Duration of the product 20, 10, 20 plus 10 plus 6 plus 10. You'll get 46. Over. We have drawn the network. We have calculated the STLFT value, critical path, duration. Now we have to find out the total float, free float, independent float, just like the previous one. The first two column, activity, duration, same thing we have copied as it is from the problem. Two broad columns, earliest and latest. Earliest two sub columns, start finish. Latest we have two sub columns, start finish. ESIJ, EFIJ, LSIJ, LFIJ, LFIJ. ESIJ, earliest start. EFIJ, earliest finish. LSIJ, latest start. This is latest finish. So already I told you ESIJ is the EST of the beginning event. The beginning event is what? this one. The first event EST value is 0. Again first event EST value is 0. Second event EST value 20. Second event EST value 20. Third event EST value 30. Fourth event EST value 36. So we have calculated ESIJ. Now EFIJ. EFIJ is equal to ESIJ plus TIJ add up the duration. So 0 plus 20, 20. 0 plus 25, 25. 20 plus 10, 30. 20 plus 12, 32. 30 plus 6, 36. 36 plus 10, 46. Over. Now LFIJ. First you need LFIJ. Latest finish time. That is the LFT of the ending event. The ending event are 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5. Yeah, ending event. So what is the LFT of 2? Second event LFT is 20. Now, third event LFT is 30. Third event LFT 30. Fourth event LFT 36. Again, fourth event LFT 36. Fifth event LFT is 46. So, LFIJ we got. Now, LSIJ. That means LFIJ minus TIJ. Subtract TIJ. So, 20 minus 20, 0. 30 minus 25, 5. 30 minus 10, 20. 36 minus 12, 24. 36 minus 6, 30. 46 minus 10, 36. That's all. We have made all the calculations. Now simply we have to substitute these values in the formula of total float, free float and independent float. So here first column activity as it is. Second column duration as it is. Now total float. The formula for total float is LSIJ minus ESIJ. Almost 2-3 problems we have applied. LSIJ here. And ESIJ here. So 0 minus 0. 5 minus 0. 20 minus 20. Here you can see. 0 minus 0. 5 minus 0. 20 minus uh, 20. Then here again. 24 minus 12. 24 minus 20. 24 minus 20. 4. 30 minus 30. Like that we got total float. Now, free float, total float minus head slack. So, total float already we got 0, 5, 0, 4, 0, 0, 0, 5, 0, 4, 0, 0, total float minus head slack. That means head event slack. The head event is 2. Slack. Slack is the difference between LFT and EST. LFT minus EST is equal to slack. But fortunately in this problem, there is no slack because all EST, LFT values are same. See here, 0, 0, 20, 20, 30, 30, 36, 36, 46, 46. There is no slack in any event, whether it is a tail event or a head event, there is no slack. So here slack are 0, 0, 0, all zeros I have taken. So 0 minus 0, 0, 5 minus 0, 5, 0 minus 0. Same values. <clears throat> now, 
independent flow. First time we are calculating independent flow. The formula for independent float is free float minus tail slack. Free float minus tail slack. The free float already we got 0, 5, 0, 4, 0, 0. These are the free float minus tail slack. In this problem, there is no slack in head, no slack in tails because all EST and LFT values are same. So again, take all zeros. So the remaining 0, 5, 0, 4, 0, 0. So what is happening here in this problem total float free float independent float all are same why all are same because the EST LFT values of all events are same right this is the end of problem number nine so in this video I have explained you two problems eighth and ninth so if you have watched all the videos up to nine definitely you might have got a good command on this network problem still so many different type of problems are there inshallah in the coming videos we will solve almost all the problems so if you are satisfied give a like to the video share my channel give your comments subscribe if you have not yet subscribed and buy the super thanks which is given below my video inshallah we will continue the next problem in the next video